So if you've been following this channel, you'll know that I'm a professional grant writer and I've been doing this job for about over 10 years. And I have to say, I really like what I do. But unfortunately, there are quite a few negative biases about being a grant writer. Some people think it's boring because it's a tedious and monotonous job that requires you to sit at a desk and write proposals all day long. And then you have others that think grant writers don't have any room for creativity or even innovation. Then there's some other people that think grant writing isn't lucrative and that grant writers don't really make a lot of money. And finally, some people think that grant writing just isn't a fulfilling career because after all, we're just pushing paper around, right? Well, in today's video, I'm going to debunk all these myths because they are simply just not true. So make sure you stick until the end of this video because I'm gonna break down the pros and cons of being a professional technical grant writer, the steps that you'll need to take in case you're considering this career path, and how much can you actually make as a technical grant writer for small businesses like what I do. And trust me, you'll be shocked by the earning potential. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stacey Chin from KeepYourEquity.co and our mission is to help startups and businesses secure non-dilutive grant funding. We specialize in helping science and tech startups secure funding from the SBIR and the STTR programs. So if you're interested in learning more, check out the link in the description below. Also, we consult lots of other public and private businesses as well on their non-dilutive fundraising strategy across healthcare, tech, energy, military, environment, as well as NGOs and so many other different sectors to help them secure non-dilutive funding to support projects that can make a big impact to solve some of today's biggest global issues. So in my last video, I shared my story of how I became a professional technical grant writer. So in case you missed that, check out the link to that video in the description below. And in that video, I shared that I really never aspired to be a professional grant writer. However, I just ended up enjoying the profession. And as a follow-up to that video, today I want to share my experiences with you of being a professional grant writer and some of the pros and cons of being in this profession. But before I get into the exciting details, let's have a quick chat about why I think this is such a really important topic. So since starting my grant writing firm, KeepYouEquity.co, I've had the pleasure of working with so many fascinating founders as I help them on their non-dilutive fundraising strategies. And I've also had the chance to collaborate with other technical grant writers on similar projects. And through those experiences, I've come to the realization that there's actually a huge lack of strong technical grant writers out there, especially those with a strong research background and a commercialization background as well. And in my opinion, this is a huge issue, especially nowadays where there are so many startups struggling to find non-dilutive funding opportunities and they have no idea how to go about the process. And for those reasons, there is a huge market right now for strong technical grant writers. And these startup founders and business executives don't have the time to sit down and write these grants out. And I've heard from other founders, they are struggling to find really strong and reliable technical grant writers to help them get through these non-dilutive funding opportunities. So why are there no technical grant writers with a strong research background and commercialization expertise? Well, in my opinion, I think there's two primary reasons for this gap. First, there's not many researchers out there that can show you what it takes to become a technical grant writer for science and tech startups. And second, there are so many biases against professional grant writing. So for those reasons, I think it's important for me and others in the field to debunk some of those myths so you can actually learn more what goes behind Behind the scenes and I've met so many others in the space that really enjoy this job as well. So before I tell you about the pros and cons of being a technical grant writer for early stage startups, I would greatly appreciate if you can like this video and subscribe to this channel. And by doing so, you'll gain a wealth of knowledge and information to help support you in your non-dilutive fundraising journey. And don't forget to check out our website at keepyourequity.co where you have more tips, resources, advice, and templates on how you can secure non-dilutive funding without giving away your equity. And so with that, let's first chat about the pros of being a technical grant writer. And these again are just from my experiences and I'm sure others have other opinions as well. First and foremost, the best thing about my job is the ability to work and collaborate with so many different founders across so many different industries. I've worked with academic professors from leading universities like Duke, Harvard, MIT, and Temple that want to spin out their research into a startup. And because all my projects are so unique and different, I am constantly learning new ways these founders are trying to solve these huge problems by innovating in these different spaces. So that means each startup comes with a unique set of technical hurdles and go-to-market challenges. So every time I bring on a new client, it's kind of like solving a brand new puzzle. Trust me, I'm never bored for those reasons. Another reason why I enjoy being a technical grant writer for early stage startup is because this is a really highly fulfilling and rewarding profession. When early stage science and tech startups try to fundraise with outside investors, a lot of them have shared that these investors are very hesitant to invest in their companies because they want them to de-risk their 
early stage technical hurdles. So then these startups have to find alternative funding opportunities so that they can de-risk those hurdles and get to an MVP in order to prove out their idea. So grants can be such a saving grace for these types of startups. So indirectly, technical grant writers can provide these startups with that opportunity to get them the funding they need, trying to make new innovations to solve big issues in this world today. Some of my most awarding days are when startup founders share with me that they got the funding award, which helps them to catapult their startup to another level so that they are then ready to get that outside funding. These days are just as much as a huge win for them as they are also for me. And this is because securing these grant funding opportunities allows these startups to get one step closer to bringing their innovations to the commercial market. And by helping those startups write these grants, I find that I can play a little role in that change as well. Another reason why I like being a technical grant writer is because the schedule is flexible. Most of the time, I can dictate my schedule and take breaks whenever I feel like it. And after working in this field for a couple of years, I'm in a fortunate position that I can only work on the projects that I feel most passionate about and turn down others that may not. And finally, the last reason why I like being a technical grant writer is because this profession is actually quite lucrative contrary to the common belief. And this is especially true if you are a technical grant writer for for-profit or startup companies. Freelance technical grant writers can make anywhere from $50 an hour all the way to $300 an hour, depending on your success history, your skill sets, and number of years you've been in the space. I know of other grant writers and smaller agencies that are making well over $300,000 a year. And there's even some smaller agencies that are making at least half a million dollars to even multi-million dollars each year as well. So there's absolutely money to be made in this space, especially because there is still a huge need for strong technical grant writers both with a research background and commercialization expertise. So since I've covered the pros of being a technical grant writer, now let's chat about some of the cons. First, if I'm in a very heavy grant writing season, there are many times that I might have to work late or even on the weekends, especially if there's a deadline right around the corner. And there are some times that you're waiting for something to come through last minute, which can be kind of stressful. But this is just the nature of the profession and these things just do happen. Another con is that you have to learn to be persistent in the face of rejection time and time again. Grant writing is very competitive, and frankly, there are so many variables that could be outside your control that dictates whether or not your grant application gets funded for your clients. And this is true even if you've written the best grant in the world. So the best thing you can do is just to put your best foot forward, give it your 110% effort, and just keep going after different grant opportunities. Persistence is the key in this grant writing game, so the goal is to never give up. And finally, another downside of grant writing is that you might spend hours sitting at a desk typing away at a grant. And I have to admit, there are times where I am mentally drained and exhausted spending hours, days and days on end on a huge application. So it's always super important to take breaks and learn how to manage your time well so that you spend some time to take care of yourself so you yourself will have the duration to continue forward. However, I do admit when I am writing a grant, I do get into a flow phase. So these hours do pass by super quickly. So with that, those are my pros and cons of being a technical grant writer for early stage startups and small businesses. So in case you wanna be a professional grant writer, this is what you have to know. First, it's really important important that you have either a science or an engineering background, you'll want to learn how to conduct research. And there's so many ways you can go about this. First, you can go to grad school to get a master's or a PhD. You can also conduct research in an academic lab or industry lab. Reading academic journals is also advantageous in developing these skill sets as well. And if you're in an academic setting, you can also reach out to professors, grad students, or postdocs and offer to help them write, review, or edit their own grants. And this is a great way to expose yourself how to write and draft a really strong academic research grant and also how to translate really complex ideas onto paper. Now, if you want to take it one step further and write technical grants for early stage startups or small businesses and other companies, you'll of course need to learn about business and the startup world. And this is really important because this is really where the big money is. Because startups are always on a budget, they're looking for free work and interns all the time. And so this is a great opportunity for you, especially to reach out to a university incubator space or one in your local area to see if there's any opportunities to work and collaborate with a startup. You can provide value to startups in so many different ways. And this is a great way for you to, to learn about business 101 and also get in touch with the startup world. There are also so many other resources, either online, through digital classes, or even just YouTube, to learn about the foundations of business and startup. For example, I did an online program through Harvard
Harvard Extension School to get more familiar with economics, accounting, and management, which I found to be incredibly helpful. And finally, the best way to learn to become a technical grant writer is just to start writing. You can do it yourself as an independent freelancer or join a current grant writing agency. And as you start out in this profession, it's important to keep in mind that there's both a science and an art to technical grant writing. So the more time and experience you dedicate to this craft, the better you're gonna be. Speaking of practice, I'm thinking of launching a coaching program to help you guys if you're interested in becoming a technical grant writer for early stage startups. Is this something that you'd be interested in? If so, let me know in the comments below. Your feedback would be super helpful. And with that, thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I hope you found my story and these tips helpful, especially if you're considering to become a professional grant writer for early stage startups. And if you haven't done so, I would greatly appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget again, to check out our website at keepyourequity.co so you'll get more resources, templates, and advice on how you can secure non-dilutive funding. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in a video very soon.